What's going on y'all? Today I want to share some of the biggest lessons that I've learned from trading over the past seven or eight years or so. I've been trading for a while now and initially I started with Forex but then I kind of got into futures and indexes and everything like that. So we'll talk about a couple things there but ultimately I want to share the biggest lessons that I've learned from trading and really what I feel would be the most valuable to help you guys out on your journey. If you don't know who I am or you're new to the channel, my name's Jeffrey Rodriguez. I'm the founder of J-Rod Forex and I'm a full-time day trader and entrepreneur. Unlike most channels, I have absolutely nothing to sell you. I simply just make these videos to share my experiences in hopes that it will shorten your guys' learning curve and hopefully allow you to become a profitable trader sooner to live the life that you want. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into lesson number one. Trading is a marathon, not a sprint. I know this term and this kind of metaphor is used a lot, but one of the biggest lessons that I've learned is that trading is a long-term game. It's not about making quick profits or trying to get rich overnight. Instead, it's about developing a solid foundation of knowledge, skills, plan, and consistently applying them over time. Trust me, when I got into this, I thought I was gonna be a profitable trader by like year one, year two right? I'm seven, eight years into this now, basically actively trading since 2016 when ICT launched his private mentorship group. And I can tell you this, it's taken a lot longer than I would have expected. So you always want to remember that this is a long game, not a short game, marathon, not a sprint. Always, always, always keep that in the back of your mind. Lesson number two, proper risk management is key. You guys will hear this a lot on my channel. Risk management is essential. Like this is one of the things that really held me back from progressing in my trading for so long. And obviously in trading, there's always risks involved, but it's important to have a plan in place to manage your risk, whether that's on an initial trade, if you take a loss, if you take a win, whatever it may be, but making sure that you use number one, a stop loss, because that's gonna allow you to preserve your capital. Lesson number three is emotions can be your biggest enemy. One of the biggest challenges in trading is really learning to manage your emotions. Like it's all a mental game. Everything is up here. It's, trading is easy, right? But really the hard part is overcoming the emotions and the mental game of it. So obviously it's gonna be easy to get caught up into the excitement of a trade if it's going good or let fear or greed cloud your judgment if you, know, you feel like you're gonna miss a move or whatever it may be. But in order to be successful, it's important to stay calm, focused, collected, and let your analysis and trading strategy guide your decisions. One of the biggest things that helps me with this is I try to meditate every single day before I sit down at the charts, at least for 10 to 15 minutes. That way I go in, I sit down, I look at the charts with a clear head and basically a fresh perspective. So this helps me tremendously. Lesson number four, the market can be unpredictable. You really want to avoid trading big high impact news days like NFP, CPI, PPI, things like this, FOMC. Those are not ideal days to trade. You wanna wait until after those news releases have come out to look for your setup. Do not try to go in before because trust me, it will ruin you. I literally have done this numerous times now. Every single time I've done it, I get caught out, I get slippage, all this stuff, so I lose way more than I would have anticipated to lose uh, with my proper risk management strategy. So definitely avoid trading during those news events. Lesson number five consistency is key. This is huge. It's not about having a few big wins and then losing it all. Instead, it's about consistently applying your strategy and your plan, following your rules every single day without failure. You want to stick to your plan. This helps build the discipline and the skills that you need so that way you can increase your chances of profitability. Which is a perfect segue into lesson number six. It's extremely important to have a plan in place. Having a solid trading plan is crucial to your success as a trader. This means having clear goals, a defined strategy, a set of rules that guide you to why you should or shouldn't be taking a position in the market. It's also important to review and update your plan regularly to ensure that it's still relevant and aligned with what you're trying to achieve. For example, your goal starting out may be to make you know, $100 a week or $1,000 a week, whatever it may be but you have to slightly adjust your plan over time as your goals expand. Lesson number seven, don't get too attached to your trades. It's easy to get emotionally attached to a trade, especially if it's going well, but it's extremely important to remember that trading is a business. You have to treat this like a business. You need to be willing to cut your losses when things aren't going your way. This means that you have to have that discipline to follow your plan, keep your stop loss. If it gets hit, you're done. 
Don't hold on to a losing trade for too long. Even if you realize that the market is going against you and it's more than likely going to trigger your stop, I exit those positions early just to prevent a bigger loss and obviously minimize risk. Lesson number eight, you always want to stay up to date. This means staying on top of you know what news events are coming out, taking a look at the technicals, the fundamentals, all these different things that are going on even in the world because it's going to play an impact in the markets. For example, right now is in between the holidays, in between Christmas and New Year's. This is not an ideal time to trade. Everybody is on vacation. People have taken their money out of the markets. You're not gonna have a lot of volatility and a lot of good surefire opportunities for low risk, high probability setups. And that's the name of the game for me. I'm trying to identify when can I get in a low risk position with high probability that it's gonna go in my favor. Probably one of the biggest lessons of all, lesson number nine, don't over leverage. Most traders make this mistake when they get into trading. I am one of them, trust me, I've done this time and time and time again. Sometimes I still even fall back into old patterns and make these mistakes like over leveraging because I'm trying to push it or trying to make more than I should be trying to or trading when I'm not supposed to. This is common, but you always wanna keep that in the forefront of your mind. Do not over leverage. Obviously, if you're doing that, you're deviating from your plan, you're putting more risk on the table and it's a higher likelihood that you'll lose your trading account or blow it all together. Which if you have blown a trading account before, comment below, let me know. I've blown countless accounts before over the years, so totally normal, but you wanna recognize these things and you don't wanna repeat past mistakes. The final lesson, lesson number 10, don't be afraid to ask for help. Trading can be extremely overwhelming, especially when you're just starting out. So if you're new to this industry or even you've been trading for a while, but you feel like your strategy isn't working out for you, it's good to surround yourself with others in the industry that have that experience that could help you stay in alignment with what your goals are. So I would highly recommend subscribing to someone that can teach you about the trading markets, whether that's my channel, another channel, ICT, whoever it may be, or joining some type of trading community doesn't have to be a paid one. Again, I would recommend, you know, there's a lot of free communities out there where people actually give you all the insights that they've learned. That's my number one goal with this channel is to provide you guys everything that I've learned completely for free because obviously ICT has blessed us with everything that he's learned. He shared that with us. He's now put it on his YouTube channel for you guys to be able to learn for free as well. So again, I would recommend you guys use ICT's channel and my channel in conjunction with one another and you will definitely have success over time in trading as long as you stick to it. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every single time I post a new video and I will see you guys in the next one.